Kyle! Uh, what? 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 I know it's not Christmas anymore, but we're still in the holiday spirit. Jackal, look, there's games to play on the Wii U eShop. Hey, come on, man, let's get this stuff done. Sorry, man, I've gotta run. Jackal, come on, don't you see? I want you to play these games with me. It'll be fun if you stay. Yay. So, man, what do you say? Oh. Hey, everybody, I'm CoolSci, and this was supposed to be a Christmas video. But I'm eternally late for everything, so it's not a Christmas video anymore. Even though it still has Christmas stuff in it. You know what's a cool Christmas present? Video games. And if you buy those games off of the Wii U eShop, even better. I'm really bad at transitioning points. Have you ever heard of Scram Kitty and his buddy on Rails? Did you even know that Scram Kitty and his buddy on Rails was a real game? Well, it's on the eShop and it got four stars. Buy it! The eShop is home to many games, good and bad alike, and you can even purchase digital versions of Wii U games here so you don't have to do it at the store. But for this particular video, we're talking about eShop exclusives, games you can't find in the store, but rather just for digital download on the eShop. These aren't necessarily reviews, they're just more brief glances at games that I think the community that I'm presenting to would enjoy. So if you think that I'm not giving enough information, say so more constructively rather than critically. And without further ado, here are some of those games. Super Turbo Championship Edition. I won't spend much time on this first game, mostly everybody knows about it already. But for those of you who do not, Guacamele is an action platformer game developed by Drinkbox Studios. This game is extremely awesome. Action-packed gameplay, awesome graphics, a good sense of humor. Wait, what did she just say? Heavy petting? Okay. Weird. Guacamelee is an indie hit for sure. If you haven't yet played it, or more appropriately, don't yet own it, go do that now. Now. Another fantastic game on the eShop, at least in my opinion, is Stealth Inc. 2. I've always been a huge fan of puzzle games, but this game is truly one of the very best. It constantly keeps you on your toes. The puzzles are fun, and the game is presented very well, and the graphics look really cool. You go from level to level, completing each puzzle while learning new skills to further your knowledge of escaping the tests unharmed. It's actually really challenging too, with each new puzzle being presented by a passive-aggressive quip on the background. The game has a pretty decent sense of humor as well, essentially taunting you when you fail and even sometimes when you succeed. It's pretty interesting. Examples of puzzles would be hide in the shadow and sneak past the radar sensor. Use the smoke to avoid detection. Try to not die. Okay, maybe not that last one, but you get the idea. The gameplay is really solid, and I'd say more, but I fear if I go on I'd end up doing a full review of the game, and that's not really the point of this video, and this is definitely one of those games that you need to experience for yourself. It's probably weird that I'm talking about the second Stealth Inc, and not the first one, but I've never played the first one, so I can't really talk about it. Stealth Inc 2 everybody, because I can't think of anything else to say. Do you like mysteries? Well, the most mysterious eShop game is perhaps The Fall. This game leaves everything to the imagination, giving you the incentive to explore and try new things. You don't know where you are, or honestly even what you are yet. You seem to be a human in a spacesuit, but in actuality you're playing as the suit attempting to save the human that's inside. It's quite an interesting concept, and the game seems to unfold around the suit being the protagonist, with each NPC interacting with it in a different way, whether it be friendly or hostile. The idea is to explore the environment to find out what you may be able to use to assist in the survival of the suit's pilot. However, everything seems to work against you. 
No matter what you try, the environment itself seems to be the main antagonist. I wouldn't necessarily call this a horror game, it's not exactly scary. However, the environments are very unsettling and the game sets itself up so that you have absolutely no idea what's going on almost ever. When you finally do figure something out, ten more mysteries unfold and you're again left in the dark. No pun intended. As I started out by saying, this game leaves everything to the imagination. The exploration is solid and the atmosphere does a really good job of making you feel helpless. Truly a work of art. Even the dialogue is unnerving, and this is only the beginning of the game. Infraction. Avoidance. Continued infractions will result in failure. Now let's get back to a lighter note. Sports Ball! This is a game where you play as something called a squawk jockey? I guess? There are four different teams to choose from, but I'm gonna go with Gang of Green. Because... Because... Because green is my favorite color, that's why. This game seems to take a few nods towards the arcade classic game, Joust. What, with the riding of birds, the 2D environment, the fact that you're using a jousting stick... On second thought, I think this game is Joust. Anyway, the game supports up to four players, but since Jackal left me hanging, I gotta go this alone. It's actually really awesome and the controls work pretty nicely. It's honestly pretty fun to just try and beat your own high score. The basic point of the game is to fly around the stadium and hit the balls into the goals. Each time you score, you gain back time. When you start running out of time, the game slows down, giving you a chance to contemplate the inevitable before... Wait, you explode when you lose? Wow, that's brutal, holy crap! Cross Squat Jockey off my list of future careers, I like not exploding. Another sports-related game on the eShop is Ali Ali. Nothing extraordinary, just a 2D skateboarding game. It's actually pretty elaborate, though. The game gives a diverse set of controls for performing each trick and grades you on your performance. There are a whole bunch of levels, and the game really takes you back. Kinda looks like a Sega Genesis game. The trick list is called the Trictionary, which I think is pretty clever, but I'm a loser, so who really cares what I think? Aside from all that, I kinda just like watching him fall. Haha, <laughs> you suck! The Wii U eShop has just about everything. Something for everyone, in fact. Looking for adventure? Maybe try SteamWorld Dig. The game starts off with Rusty. That guy. Coming to a seemingly abandoned town, which the game humorously confirms that the population of is three. Before Rusty is sent plummeting to the depths. Here he meets Dorothy, who implies that Rusty's uncle died in the mines. Of course, you stumble across his corpse and take his pickaxe. I don't know why exactly, but you do. The point of this game is to dive into the depths of the town, find minerals or other valuables, upgrade your pickaxe, and trade ore. Overall, it has a really cool concept. But my favorite thing about it is the robotic design of all the characters. Rusty, Dorothy, Cranky over here, and... Oh my god, is that a robotic hooker? I can't leave her sight. Everywhere I go, her eyes follow. I don't want it! Leave me alone! In short, SteamWorld Dig is a pretty interesting game. Definitely worth your time. However, there is one game that tops all of them. At least, as far as I'm concerned. Without a doubt, my personal favorite eShop game is BitTrip Presents Runner 2 Future Legend of Rhythm Alien. Yes, that's actually what the game is called. Wow is this game awesome though. Right off the bat, the sense of humor is apparent, and the game is narrated by Charles Martinet. I'm Charles Martinet. Charles freaking Martinet! The story is told by silly cartoony cutscenes with a mysterious villain called Timbletot serving as the main antagonist. And hey, look, Super Meat Boy. That's pretty cool. The main character, Commander Video, is thrust into a strange alternate universe where the game begins. And this is where things get crazy. The controls in this game are unbelievable. The allocation of the buttons is amazing. Almost every button has a purpose. B jumps, down ducks, Y performs a kick, if you press R you dance, if you press forward you pull out a shield, and so much more. Collecting all of the gold in each level provides you with a chance to get bonus points via way of a cannon pointing at a target. If you hit the target dead center, you get 10,000 bonus points. 
There are hidden levels, collectible costumes, several playable characters, including a walking pickle, a half fish, a female commander video, and a guy with a burger head named Wet Fart Cheeseburger? That's awesome! The level design is fantastic, and that's not even mentioning the rhythm-based action of the game. If you're completely on rhythm, the game flows perfectly. On top of all of that, the game has five worlds, with the last one being my personal favorite. There's this creepy mountain thingy, this thing, Uncle Dill, and did I mention Charles Martinet? I'm Charles Martinet. Charles Martinet! There are just so many likable things about Runner 2 that the game is a must-have for any Wii U owner. I pretty much covered everything about it briefly. Okay, I talked your ears off about it, I'm sorry. But I'm sure you'll see more of it when you buy it for yourself. These games are only scratching the surface though. There are a ton of games on the eShop. These were just the games that were included in the Humble Mindy Bundle back in May. But the eShop also has games like Shovel Knight or Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. So if you don't yet have any of these games, you're definitely missing out. And for an added fact, these games aren't necessarily Wii U exclusive. Some of them can be digitally downloaded on Sony and Microsoft systems as well. But just like everything, the Wii U eShop has bad games on it as well. But more on those later.